I'm going to talk about the fuel system in the Quest Air Venture right now. It carries about 51 gallons. It's held in the two wings. They come together down below, and there's a valve. It's actually out of a Cessna 182. It's for half-inch fuel lines. The airplane originally came with three inch fuel lines, and people were having problems with getting proper flow to the engine. It's a very big engine. So I converted everything to half-inch fuel lines. To operate the fuel valve, which is down below, and instead of having to bend over and reach for it all the time, I created a little lever right here, which has four positions, left, right, and center, and off, and it uses a Telflex cable that goes down and controls the throttle. Over here is my fuel gauge, there are two, gauge, two needles, it's in percentage of, of full, 100% on each side, would be about 25 gallons a side. The fuel system was originally used a header tank. It was mounted in the middle of the fuselage towards the bottom. The fuel went into the header tank, created a storage of fuel there, and then was pumped up to the uh, engine, to the electric driven pump, followed by the engine driven pump. If you ever had a, a lack of fuel there for a moment, you could get a cavitation, you have trouble sucking the fuel up. So I remounted, I removed the fuel uh, bladder, uh, sump tank, and I put in all my valves down below there and my fuel pump down low. So now my fuel pump is actually below the, the head level of the fuel. This way I can never have cavitation on my way to the fuel pump. The fuel pumps used in this airplane for priming and for starting and just as an emergency backup or while you're switching tanks if you were to have a, a lack of fuel for a second you can use the fuel pump to, to pick it back up. The electric fuel pump runs it up to the mechanical fuel pump. The mechanical fuel pump is the real pump for the airplane. The, again the electric is just a backup. The, the mechanical fuel pump can deliver more fuel than is required for the airplane so the rest leftover fuel comes back and goes into the left tank. Each tank is, is vented in three different ways. The few of the guys were having problems with venting and, and getting fuel starvation because it would create a, a vacuum inside the tank. I, I have both lines from the top of the tanks, lines that come down and do a reverse upside down trap that goes outside. The both lines come together and T outside and both tanks at the end have vents uh, underneath and into the uh, next chamber of the wing. So I have, I have three basically four vents for my system. I've never had any fuel problems whatsoever.